Hello, everyone. You are here for our fun Pokemon <laughs> week after Christmas. It's been 10 days. Ian. Hi. Hi. How's you ready? Going? Are you ready for Pokemon? Yeah. Um. So uh, I, I know we're going to be talking about Christmas a lot this stream. So let's get the uh, housekeeping out of the way. William Yosef, it's Crispers. Yes. Uh, tell me about, I believe on your trip, I said you should do routes 12, 13, 14, and 15. Um, if you can. And uh, so tell us what you did while you were away and then tell us uh, any Pokemon that have, that have changed. What's your what's your current party? Like? Um, so uh, I played a bunch of Pokemon right before I left. I mainly, I pretty much did everything I wanted to before my flight. Like, or actually before and on my flight out to Utah. Um, so the only thing I did that you, so I evolved my Pikachu into a Raichu. Um, okay. Snorlax is on my team now. And um, I didn't. Okay, real, real quick, real quick. I see uh, you got rid of the, the mock boy. He's been replaced by Snorlax. Okay. And then. Yeah, I didn't, didn't want to over level so you, a bunch of people. So you got rid of um, the Doe Duo, I believe. Yep. And it's now a Raichu. Okay. I'm just I'm just checking. So it looks like we now have. Excuse me. It looks like we now have. Oh, you don't have the Graveler anymore. Okay, we have Gyarados. Gyarados is Gyarados. not here. I have a Lapras instead. Okay, let me get the. Okay, and I have the Rattata or whatever it is. Nido King. Uh, yeah. I just I I can never remember that. Okay, then I have the Growlithe. Yep. Okay. Then I have Snorlax. Yep. And that's a Pidgeot. Yeah, Pidgeo. Yeah, Pidgeot. Let me double check. Okay. And then we have the Raichu. Okay. Pidgeotto. Sorry. You made it you made it sound like you hadn't made a lot of changes, and it turns out you made a lot of changes. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. I did a game. thing where I Googled, um, like, a good team for Fire Red, but I didn't, like, mm -hmm. there were, like, some cr crazy detailed responses, and I was like, I don't I don't want that. I just want, like, what do people, yeah. like, enjoy playing? Like, what's good? So I kind of incorporated that. Like, Lapras was, was like, oh, when you get Lapras, you're going to want to use Lapras because of the ice move. And I was like, oh, okay. And then they were like, Snorlax is really good normal moves. I was like, okay. And then the other thing was turn your Pikachu into a Raichu. And I was like, okay. So those are just yeah. the couple things I did. Um, yeah. And I stuck with Pidgeotto instead of Duo Duo because um, I didn't feel like leveling up that stupid Pokemon. I don't have any audio, by the way. I'm not sure if stream does. Oh, you don't? Oh, yes, stream does. You also, should have Stream's it not seeing the game either. Yes, they are not. Boop. There you go, stream. Okay, trainer card updated. Yay. Um, so what did you do? I gave you four routes to clear. So you, you did those? Yes. So I did 14, 15, 12, 13. So I fought all the Fishermans. Um, yes. I got the Snorlax. I went back to... Silfco Tower and defeated everyone there uh, and got my oh, rival. Did okay. I did all that. And then uh, I stopped outside of Fuchsia City. Let's go into, uh, let's, I, I'm, I'm double checking, but I believe let's go into Fuchsia City. Fuchsia. We can do the, the safari. We, there's, there's some things here we can do, including the gym towards the end of the week. Yes. And I believe we still have the gym in, uh, we still have the gym in Saffron City, Celadon City, wherever let me, let me is. Let check if you are ready. Yeah, you're kind of ready for that. So we may, we may do two gyms today. We'll do the Safari Zoo in two gyms. I, I almost point. texted you asking if I could go into the Safari Zone. It's When I found this, I loved it so much because for, for the first half of this game, I was really just trying to get my Pokédex filled out. Still playing the game, but I wanted to fill out my Pokédex so I could get EXP share at 50 Pokémon. Yeah. And when I found this thing that makes it easy to catch a lot of Pokémon pretty quickly, I was ecstatic. Anyways, uh, who cares about Pokémon? How was your uh, vacay? What'd you do? Where'd you go, baby boy? It was good. Uh, we went out to Utah to visit our 
my family, both my brothers are out there and their family, so my parents flew out and Karen and I flew out. It was very fun. We stayed at a cabin at my brother's resort he works at pretty much the whole time. Built Legos, uh, nice. played with trains, all sorts of stuff. I got um, Andy Weir's Hail Mary, Project Hail Mary book for Christmas, and I have like five pages left. I read. Man, I feel like... I feel like I would enjoy his books, but I did not like the Martian movie. <laughs> it was not a good movie for somebody who's like going into it, expecting it to be like realistic, hard sci-fi. And yeah. it just, it just felt like a very Hollywood version of that. And so like, I am so torn between like, I'm sure I would love those books, but at the same time, like I did not like that movie. You yeah. Know, so. I, I don't like the movie at all. Um, the book is fantastic. I, I think it's, it's really good. The, my only problem with his writing, I, and this is the only other book I've read of his, is he like does the same kind of character trope of like uh, first person guys kind of snarky and nerdy and talks to himself. Not quite on the level of Ugh. Ready Player One, but uh, God, what an awful book! What a god awful. Um, book. I like I like the first book. I actually, I didn't read the second book. Look, I do I, not I like I mean to you his Armada, but book the first book is is basically irredeemable. I only that like that book like because everything makes sense for why people act that way. But in his second book, he sets it in our reality and people act that way. And it comes off as like a nerd asshole rather than talking about Armada. Yeah, Armada is a terrible book. I also I completely forgot until the other day that there is a Ready Player 2. Uh, Karen uh, read it. She said it was OK. Again, I, the conceit of Ready Player One, I like that it's like everyone knows this stuff because it's part of some big thing to like yeah, know but, this but stuff. My problem is, my problem is, it's okay that everybody knows that stuff, but the book is literally is literally just paragraphs and paragraphs of reciting pop culture. Oh yeah, references totally. And, and like that that writing choice is god awful. Yeah. I, but I think it. it I think just reading Ready Player One, to me, it's okay. But the fact that his other books and poetry and media does that turns yeah, me off. Shows that it's, yeah, it shows that it's not it's not an aesthetic choice for that topic. It yeah. is just him. It's the same, like, I don't think Andy Weir's the best writer in the world, but I read 200 pages on Christmas Day because I just wanted to know what was happening next. And I was yeah. like, I was annoyed I, at yeah. certain parts, but... You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna add those to my to read list right now. Does he only have two? Uh, he has it? Project or Artemis. This is his second Artemis? book. I heard it wasn't yeah. very good. What's the premise of Artemis? Uh, it's some city on the moon. Oh no! Oh, I got really terrified there for a second. When I when I type in Andy Weir on Amazon, um, I see The Martian by Andy Weir. Will Wheaton at all? Oh, and then I realized the... it's it's showing the audiobook. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God awful. Uh, I don't know how to do anything in the Safari Zone. It's it's just a bunch of like different wild Pokemon in an area. You get free. You're not even using your balls. You're just using Safari balls. There are things you can find in here, and and there's a definitely a, like a secret at the end. So you should try and make your way all the way through. It's not really a maze, but it is a little bit of like trying to get through it. But there's a limited, there's a time limit, and the time limit is actually the number of steps you take. Oh so, yeah, and you can. That's what because I was reading the guide a little bit. You can stand in place and just change direction, and it doesn't count as steps. Nice. So yeah, I would definitely do this to catch a bunch of Pokemon. And I did it in two runs. Like the first one, I just kind of went as far as I could catching Pokemon. And the second one, I just sped, sped all the way to the end. Because I think there is kind of a story item you need to grab at the end. Gotcha. Uh, question. Right, do you Martian. mind tweeting that we're live? I, I didn't do any of that. Yeah. Um, hey, we're live. <laughs> Guys, we're live. <laughs> Pokey will. Um, I got it. <laughs> yeah, so I, I've been really enjoying that book. Like I said, it's, it's not... I, I I don't I can't tell if you would like it or not. Um, it's it's pretty much the same style as The Martian. Convince me to try it. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. The Martian is a fantastic book. I I really like The Martian. Um, uh, am I giving this a nickname? No, I don't want to give you a nickname. I, was I liked the premise of The Martian. It's just uh. like I don't want to go into the movie too much, but it it was too Hollywood, yeah. 
And then the other thing was, like, some of the science and characters, they just kind of glossed over when it was like, no, this is the movie where you make it as scientific as possible. Yeah. And then the, the other thing was, I was watching it with a friend of mine, and we were both really into Kerbal. And at the end of the movie, I was just like, the, I turned to him and I said, the whole time I was thinking, like, these plans they're doing, if this was anything like reality, let alone Kerbal Space Program, there would have been, like, 400 casualties. Because some of their, like, mission plans are just so insanely stupid that it's just like, that wouldn't work. No, yeah. You're and, dead. and, um, the, the book's a lot better. Like, Andy Weir used to work for NASA, so he, like, and he's a scientist, so he, like, his stuff has a couple conceits to it. Like, if this existed, then we could do all this stuff. So, like, that sort of stuff he glazes over, but the science and, like, how things work is actually accurate. So, like, that part of yeah. it's really cool. And I would love to have that in the book, yeah. Also, his writing style is the most cliffhanger chapter, like, Jack Reacher-style book. Like, you, that's why you keep reading like it, because it's just, like, every, every split in a chapter is you have to read the next sentence to know... So I, I kind of, when I stopped reading that book, I would stop in the middle of chapters when they finished answering a question and were about to start a new question, because I hate yeah I hate ending on uh, that stuff. Oh, I got a Rhyhorn. All right, I added Project Hail Mary. I added uh, The Martian to my book list. I'm going to look up Artemis real quick. Yeah, that one I have not read, but I heard it wasn't very Artemis Foul. Okay. Artemis Fowl, yep, it. nail it. Uh, no, I don't want anything. Uh, I'm just going to look at this up. Um, the novel takes place in the late 2080s in Artemis, the first and so far only city on the moon. It follows the life of Porter and Smuggler as she gets caught up in a conspiracy for control of the city. Uh, Goodreads, the readers on Goodreads, voted it the best sci-fi novel of the year. So you know what? I'm going to add it to the list. Oh, really? Well. So, I, for some reason, I thought it wasn't very good. I, I don't know who told me that. It's, you know, it's hard with all this pop sci-fi stuff to know who to follow because, like, there are people that I trust on other things. Like, anybody at Tested, I trust them with, like, gear and tech and tip recommendations. But their, like, their praise for, like, the new Star Wars movies and all this stuff, etc., is just, like, I can't take you seriously at all when it comes to pop literature or, you know, pop yeah. culture because your tastes are not... You're just kind of like the generic, like, ho-hum, like, everything's great. It was awesome. It was amazing. It was amazing. You know, so it's like, I don't know who to trust. I think these trees look awful. The ones on the left? Yeah. I, I get what they're supposed to be. They're like those safari trees in Africa. But. Hey, um. I mean, interrupt you, but this is a boring topic. What'd you get for Christmas? You get anything else good for Christmas? Uh, so I got some Game Boy uh, modification stuff. Um, so I'm gonna nice. start that project. I also ordered a bunch of stuff on Christmas Day as well, which shipped the next day. I was very surprised. Um, Did you do? Uh, I I feel like this is gonna sound mean, but it's not. But it's like all the things you didn't get on Christmas. You're like, great. Now I know I can order them. Yes, you know? 100. percent I was like, oh, Amazon <laughs> gift card I got for my aunt. Uh, all the 3D printer stuff Perfect. I need to upgrade my. Because I have this week off, and I was like, oh, I'll upgrade my 3D printer, and I'll do a, a do a, do the Game Boy thing. 100. Um, percent So I got that. I got a really cool flashlight. Um, that I should probably show off. Yeah. Can we check it out real quick? Yeah. Let's show up that flashlight. We just, we gotta adjust. We gotta adjust here. Hi, everyone. What is that? It's a fl oh gosh, it's so bright. I don't believe you. Um, That's just the flashlight? <laughs> it's just the flashlight and a little bit what? of the monitors. What's the, I know most, I'm not gonna say these numbers don't mean anything, but they're kind of just voodoo numbers to me. What is, what's the lumens? Is that what you're um, supposed to go by? I believe so. Let's Let me look at the man. This thing is crazy. It has, it has a lightning mode. So like it, it, oh, it does like, a like it does lightning. It flickers like a candle. It can tell you the room temperature. Um, you have to like really uh, do a thing for that. Um, let me see. There's a lot of words on this thing. I don't understand. Um, it does say fifty-one thousand CD. 
Oh, so I'll look up CD to loom. This is uh, SP36 BLF and Duril. Oh, no. One candela equals 12.57, but they say there's not a there's not necessarily a direct. Comparison. So this is 51,000 candelas. Oh, sorry, 8,000 lumens. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. So like um, I just put in new garage lights, and they go in the ceiling, and each of them is 6,000 lumens. I really, I don't think you could. If I put the overhead lights on, I don't think you could really tell the difference. No, I could tell the difference because your overhead lights are not as bright as put that flashlight on. <laughs> That's Anyways, what it feels like. Um, this thing's rad. Uh, it's cool. rechargeable, USB-C, uh, has all these cool modes, so I'm excited to use it. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find the switch. You're going to get lights. so happy when the power goes out. I know. <laughs> I'm just Guys, gonna start... I have a flashlight. It's so bright. It only lasts 15 minutes, but it's amazing. <laughs> I'm going to trip breakers, or just turn off the breakers when Karen gets home. Yeah, the power went out. Super weird. <laughs> You're going to do the old, like, plug, uh, plug steel wool oh, into yeah. the outlet trick. <laughs> hey, do you have any of those mail-to-mail -mail, uh, extension cords? <laughs> I, I knew somebody in high school who lived next door to somebody know. else in our high school class, and they were friends, but he, for, like, for like two months, like once a week, he would go over, sneak to the back of their house, go to their outdoor outlet, and do the steel wool lamp trick to blow the circuit. And they were just like, something's wrong with our basement electricity. It keeps tripping the breaker. <laughs> <That's> so rude. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can... No, that's good. Um, oh, crap. I, I literally had something to say. I don't remember what it was. Um, you can say the left right trick, yeah. Oh yeah, you can do that. But no, I had something else. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm excited to uh, need a flashlight at some point. <laughs> and then I heard something about a flight lesson. Oh yes, yeah. so Karen, uh, she didn't buy it yet because she wasn't sure if I would want it. Um, so she bought me my uh, f an, a first flight lesson, uh, mm -hmm. in like a Cessna sort of thing. So we have to like cross reference where to get it. Um, but after flying on my horrible flight this morning, I turned to her and I said, I don't know if I want a flight lesson. Um, I have never gotten sick while flying, except the one time that I flew in a four person Cessna. Yeah, um, I, so I, I've been in a Cessna before. I've flown it, flown it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but I just, I should tell the tale. So um, there have been a lot of flight cancellations because of coronavirus, um, because of workers getting coronavirus yes. and they it can't work on the planes um Pansies. so united <laughs> canceled our flight that would have been this morning at 11 a.m um and we were like oh i don't think they'll cancel it which hindsight 50 50 uh is that i could have checked flight aware and noticed that they canceled every morning flight to newark for the past like six days and that there was no way Wow. They were going to yeah, do weird. that flight. So, because it's the same crew, because it's the same flight. Um, so they yeah. canceled that, told us like 16 hours in advance, which honestly isn't bad, because I was reading about people who got to the airport and found out. Yeah. Uh, which is awful. So I quickly rebooked us on the red eye out of Salt Lake City Monday night instead of mm -hmm. leaving Tuesday morning. Uh, that flight the past couple nights had been delayed because the flight from Newark to get the plane there kept being delayed and the previous night mm -hmm. had left it was supposed to schedule at 11.59 to leave it left at 4am the other night because it was waiting for the plane so our plane finally gets there it's scheduled to leave at 1am we're like okay that's okay we'll still it's it's a 6 hour flight out there it's a 3 and a half flight hour flight back with good tailwinds Mm -hmm. Um, so it's going to be a three and a half hour flight. I'm like, okay, we'll get there at six 30, get home, sleep till nine or whatever. And it'll be okay. So we get on the plane. We back away from the taxi back. It's still a little bit late. Cause they have to, they have the extra steps to clean the planes and everything. And mm -hmm. so the captain comes on and says, Hey, um, so we're just going to sit here for a little bit. They have to calculate the weight of the plane because there's the plane's so full and there's so many bags. So they're just gonna have to work on that for a second and uh, we're gonna do that. So like a half an hour goes by. 
<laughs> Captain goes on again. Hey, I really don't know how to explain this to you guys. Uh, so I'm just gonna say it. They put too many bags in one compartment and not in the other compartment. I think they're new. So long story short, we have to pull back to the gate for them to change it. And he sounded like <laughs> the most annoyed person ever. Yeah. And also like, yeah. don't be mad at me. These people are stupid. Yeah. Um, so we pull back another like 45 minutes to an hour. And then that finally gets settled with all the clanking underneath. And they're like, yeah, so it should be good now. And we finally take off. And it's like, I think we took off three o'clock mountain time, which is 5 a.m. And I, I just the entire time I could not sleep. I like yeah, briefly fell asleep for a second. And then the captain came on and said, we have reached cruising altitude and it jolted me awake. Um, and by the time we landed, I was convinced I, I thought I was going to die. Um, mm -hmm. I just couldn't think straight. I wanted to throw up and also poop myself. And, but I didn't have to pee. Um, and then we finally landed. The secret house. Finally landed. Seventy-five dollar uh, Uber ride to my apartment. Wait, you guys didn't drive to the airport? No, I mean we took an Uber to the airport, and then her mom was maybe gonna pick us up, but all the delays and stuff messed it up. Oh, okay. So. Hi, Halucha. Hi, Halucha. I'm just talking about my my Christmas flights. So, anyways, I finally got back here. I stripped down in the kitchen, threw all of my airport clothes immediately into the washing machine, took a shower, got into bed, and slept for two hours. Nice. I feel hungover, even though I had zero alcohol in the past 48 hours. <laughs> um, but... Yeah. I I had something... Literal night. You know, now you mention it, it reminded me of this, this weird time on a flight... I think I just took it in stride, but the more I think about it, it barely makes sense. Which is that... Yeah, it's like a surf! Yeah, that's that's what you wanted to get, yeah. Which is that they they came on, we were we had left, we were about to leave the gate, and they were like, Hey, um, our weight's kind of unbalanced, so we need one person to move from the front of the plane to the back of the plane. <laughs> and it was like a couple minutes, and they're like, somebody do, somebody do, and they're like, fine, I'll do it. And this woman moved from the front, like, to the back. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, she was, like, 120 pounds. Like, that's some sort of, like, regulatory, like, we have to hit this checkbox, but we yeah. can't really. Cause, and it was just like, I mean, come on. Weight on airplanes is no joke. Like, I've seen enough videos of weight yeah. shifting in airplanes to crash them. Like, that part I understood. Matters. But your situation is definitely the... Hey, we're over yeah. by uh, a half a pound on this thing. Um, yeah, so somebody's got to move. And, and there's like, like four redundancies, but we have to move the purse. Yeah. Well, it's like, um, I think there was this time when Southwest, I, th I think it was Southwest and a couple of the airlines were down for like a day because the system they used to calculate baggage and weight ratios and weight distribution on the planes was down. <laughs> so they just couldn't do it. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> I was yeah. so happy. I put our luggage on generic software. I put our luggage on the thing and it ticked up and stopped at 47. And I was like, oh, thank God it's not the 50 oh. pound thing. Because I was holding I it. And that. I was like, this is heavy. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I understand why, but I keep forgetting you guys don't prefer Southwest because they don't really fly out of Newark, et cetera. But Southwest is like yeah. two free checkbacks. It's just yeah. so nice. Um, I also, my dad didn't know you could just package up a box and put it as a check bag. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you can do that. Um, Halucha, what move should I get rid of? I'm assuming I should get rid of body slam, but you tell well, me. Well, but you're but you're you're trying to teach teach La is Lapras going to be the only water Pokemon in your in your build? Um, because you do want Surf because it's a move. Yeah, I, I, Lapras was going to be my water Pokemon from now on. What's uh, his water move? Because Surf is a water move, so. What's his current water move? Does uh, he I, have one? I don't think so. Because he has Ice Beam. So, well, maybe I give Surf... Oh, I would keep can, Ice. Can, oh, yeah, I would not get rid of that. Can Nido King take? Go back. It should yeah. say able or not able. Uh, yes. Take me so far. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, I would not. Oh, yeah, he is able. Oh, oh Snorlax. So Snorlax. Well, I'd rather keep Barney the slave. Yeah. You're going to need to surf a decent amount going forward in the story. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, my, my Christmas wasn't too eventful. I just had it locally. We, I kind of knew what I was getting because Maggie and I decided to get a cricket as our gift to each other. Mm -hmm. And then all my relatives, I was just kind of like... They were like, what do you want? I was like, well, we got a cricket, so just get us cricket accessories or whatever. So we got <laughs> cricket that. Cricket and cricket accessories. Yeah, I, I didn't get uh, I didn't get much else. Like, it was a lot of, like, personalized stuff because everyone decided to do that instead of just buying me the things that I want. No, it was very nice. My dad gave me a nice ID model that is uh, cool. It's a, a New Zealand steamship. Um, mm -hmm. Get rid of double kick. That's what you're saying. I'm glad, Halucha, you realized I was just waiting on the screen for you to tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah, double kick's not great. Um, um, yeah, so it was yeah nice. but then I did get, my dad, he splurged on me a bit because I've been making coffee for him with the AeroPress. So like every time he comes over, I make coffee for him and he's been going crazy about it. But he realized that I, I had a manual grinder. So it took about five minutes to grind enough beans for one cup of coffee. And he was like, why don't you get an electric grinder? And I'm like, well, because like the, the baseline good coffee electric grinder that lets you set the size and everything is like $100. And he was like, well, you should you should put it on your coffee list. You should put it on your gift list. And I was like, it's $100. And he goes, just put it on your gift list. So he did get me that and then immediately made me make him a cup of coffee. So uh, I'm nice not going to do that's awesome. Uh, I'm not going to do any more Safari Zone because I feel like I can do that offline. Yeah, so let's, um, I think you're going to want to go, let's go back to uh, Saffron City and fight that gym guy. Because his stuff, well, actually, wait, give me a second. I'm just looking at, um... no, well, let's do, let's do Fuchsia City while I'm here. Okay. While you're here. Fuchsia City and Saffron City, they're about the same, they're about the same Gym leaders look to be about the same st strength, roughly. So I have not done the fighting gym. I haven't done either gym in uh, Saffron. No, he's talking about there. We sh Ooh, you know what? There's two let's gyms. Go to, let's go to Saffron City. Yeah, there's the fighting dojo, and then there's the actual gym. Yeah, it's not it's not a gym, but you should yeah. definitely do it. Hundred <clears throat> percent. It's it's a the guides refer to it as a optional gym. It's awesome though. Where's Saffron? Yeah. Fly me! Um, yeah, so I got that. I, I did get some presents for myself. I got Metroid Dread. Oh, nice. For 40 bucks from the Gamefly used sale, which I, it's a cartridge, so I'm fine getting it used. It came in the case and everything. Like, it looks basically brand new, except for the shrink wrap, which is crazy. I think it's to the left of it. Yeah. <sighs> okay, what's good against fighting? Uh, fighting is flying. air flying and normal no actually i think fighting is good against fighting i'm gonna double check but i think it's a weird thing where it's literally like fighting v fighting Ooh, oh Metroid that's a good Dread idea Halucha. yeah i was gonna start one of the game boy metroids off of kyle's uh recommendation um yeah him talking up dread and i've, I've really been trying to prep myself for game of the year by trying to at least play a little bit of all the game of the year big stuff and so i was thinking about getting ratchet and clank but it's still 50 bucks and i found dread for 40 so i went with that instead oh i got uh the banner saga trilogy for uh for xbox or um those are they're interesting they're they're very aesthetic yeah um, i like it i started i've watched a bit of it before I started the first one today. Also, I've been playing, uh, we'll talk about this more on Thursday, but I've been playing Golden Sun, the JRPG on the Game Boy. Um, flying and Psychic is what I'm reading here. Um, yeah, I, I played a, a very small amount of fusion for the gba but just a little bit but i'm excited to dive into dread uh i've been sampling a bunch of other games and then honestly i'm just buying some tools and lumber because i'm using this break to get i built a floating shelf that i need to put up behind me it's gonna go it's gonna go about there 
put some Gundam on it. Ooh. Um, I'm, I'm, I took my old, we, we had to get a smaller coffee table because our new couch is much bigger. So I'm taking our old coffee table. If you remember our blue coffee table, that's like four feet by three feet. I'm basically swapping out the legs, raising it up, putting it on a frame so it becomes my workbench in the garage, like a big four foot by three foot workbench on, on casters. Good. Yeah, so I'm just kind of doing a bunch of projects around the house and then buying supplies for that. So it's it's been a nice, I, I don't want to say relaxing Christmas because honestly I've just been doing, like today I thought I was going to do nothing, but then Maggie ended up not having to work today and then my parents were like, let's go to Ikea. So we went to Ikea <laughs> for like three hours, which I'm fine with Ikea, but it means that I was busy all day. So Yeah, yeah I think I'm going to upgrade my 3D printer this week, maybe start on the Game Boy stuff. I do have to go clean out the studio. Um, at some point. Uh, so that'll be fun. I, I gotta figure out what, what model I'm gonna build next. I'm thinking I might just grab one of the Gundams I have, or maybe that Death Stranding trike. Uh, but I also might start the like, Viking um, longship I have. I do like Gundams as, like, you look at a Gundam and you go, okay, I'm not really gonna do anything with this. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna pan a line. I'll just do a quick, quick kit here, and then do a long one, then do a quick kit. So I have one that I'm like 75% done, but I've just been so busy I've been able to touch it. Yeah. I found a great, uh, there's a Soyuz kit by Good Smile. Ooh. So it's the Soyuz entire rocket on the transport train. Uh, yeah. And real, it's, it's only 60 bucks, but it's only pre-orders right now because I think it's sold out. Oh my God. What? You look at it? This is incredible. I know. I want to get it. scale. It's so cool. It, wait, is it both? Yeah, it, you can do it horizontally, or you can do it as the complete rocket. It's both. Yeah. I think sweet. Dear Lord in heaven. This it was is on incredible. Gundam USA or USA Gundam. They said um, it's pre-painted. Yeah, so it's like pre-painted like Gundam or pre-painted, quote unquote. It says some glue recommended, but yeah. it does assemble dry. I forgot to change. God, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks awesome. Oh, God, Will, why did you show this? I was also me? looking at, um, I've never had the, the, uh, courage to make them, but the MA, M dot, er, MA dot K machine, machine Kruger kits. Those things uh, are yeah. cool. Yeah, those where it's like a weird it's pseudo like, design. I love those. Yeah, it's like Russian space future. I forget. This is a, there's a game I'm pretty sure that's part of it. Why did you identify me as a fat bird? I flew yeah, so they have pre-orders on the on the. Oh well, that's not the U.S. online shop. Let me get the good. Oh. Critical hit. It's only sixty dollars. Yeah, it's not bad. I, I, I'm gonna order it. I just, I didn't want to pre-order it and then it shows up eventually. I would rather just like buy it and get it, you know. Yeah, hundred percent. Daddy loves you. I will not change Pokemon. That's real cool. Game. Yeah, that's a good one. I um, I know this is not. Look, I know this is not really the intent of Pokemon, but I love when you get to an area where it's all of one type Pokemon, and you're just like, guess what? I've already got one. That's real kick-ass of the opposite type. So <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and kill y'all in one to two hits. Sorry about so that. Good. Uh, I don't know if I got it the last episode, but I did get EXP share, so I've been using that. Oh, quite you a did. Lot. Nice, nice. I look. Here's my problem. I forgot. I have gotten to the Elite Four in Pokemon Fire Red. Unfortunately, most of my Pokemon are around level 45, 46, and I already tried to beat Elite Four once, and I immediately died. I feel like I need to get them to at least level 60, given my skill level with the game, which is not great. So I basically have 14 levels to grind. And I looked up the optimum grind strategies, and I think that unfortunately I have about four to five hours of solid grinding before I can really take on the Elite Four. 
And by grinding, I mean like there is one fight or one area with several fights in particular where it's literally just use versus trainer, fight the four trainers, go to the spa, reheal your Pokemon, go back versus trainer. Just doing that loop for four or five hours. And unfortunately, I think that I may never beat the Elite Four because I don't really feel like doing that repetitive action for me. Yeah. If, if they had more story content where I could keep going and just be like, oh, if I go through all the story and all the side quests in these other areas, then I'll be over leveled for Elite Four. I would love to do that, but I don't want to do the exact same thing over and over again. So I'm... I mean, I'd be the Elite Four. So it's Psychic was good, right? Go Taco Bell. Man, I, I think I might have some Taco Bell tomorrow. Mm. We're going to order vacation. Chinese food tonight. Yesterday I had uh, McDonald's. Great stuff. Oh, man, I had some fantastic In-N-Out uh, burger. The fries were awful, actually, now that I think about it. But mm -hmm. the burger was pretty good. In-N-Out fries are god-awful. They're yeah. very, very bad. And then um, uh, Jimmy John's, which I had never had before. Jimmy John's is great. It was fantastic. I, I got their gigantic thing, grande whatever, mm -hmm. not knowing it was literally two of the normal sandwich. And I, I was yeah. going to bring it on the flight, but I, I didn't. I left it at Zach's. But... Uh, um. It yeah. was really good. I used when I was working out of the office. I used to go to Jimmy John's like two, three times a week because it was cheap. It was fast. I could be there and back of the office in like fifteen minutes. And their bread is so good. And it's honestly, it's it's fairly healthy. Yeah, I was. So. It, it's because we were like, oh, let's go to Chick Fil A, just cause. And there was a huge wait in the line. And we pretty much all agreed like Chick Fil A is okay, not worth waiting in a giant line for. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And Jimmy John's was like completely empty. Um, yeah, it was really. There good. There is a drive-through Jimmy John's less than a mile from my house. It's great. Wow. Maybe I should go to Jimmy John's tomorrow. Now that I think about it. Why do you live in such a life of luxury? <laughs> this it's, Florida. It's I need weird. to go there. It's it's hard to describe. It's like the only the only way I could describe it is referencing a very specific road in Maryland that you don't know about. But it's there's basically like a main road that is six lanes, three lanes on one side, three lanes on the other, and there's just like a bajillion stores within about three miles all along this road. Like there's literally there's two Publix, there's a Winn Dixie, there's Trader Joe's, Aldi, Barnes and Noble. There's just like all sorts of stores. There's like a TJ Maxx and a and and a uh, Marshalls, Marshalls right next to each other. Wow. Like it's just the the there's a Target and Walmart next to each other. They're all down this road, but then once you step away from the road, it's all residential behind there, and it's pretty nice residential. Like one side of it is like million dollar house residential wow. on the water. So we basically live. If you're on the main road, you go about a quarter of a mile off the main road. And then down into a neighborhood, and that's us. So it's it's crazy. But it's good because it does get a little busy, but it never gets backed up. The only way it gets backed up is like, oh, to get out of our neighborhood, I should go to the light. Because if I don't go to a light, I won't be able to get onto the main road. Gotcha. That's the worst it gets. So it's like, yeah, there's literally just so, it's like a huge shopping, nice upscale area. And we live right next to it. So it's amazing. It's great great place to be because like my sister and my parents they bought a brand new house further south in like an up-and-coming area but they're like they're like two miles from a their closest store is like two miles to a Publix other than that they're surrounded by like empty swamp land basically and like forest preserve and like eventually it's gonna be built up but like, to go to a Home Depot, it's like 15, 20 minutes for them. Whereas I have a Lowe's six minutes away. And I have a Harbor Freight five minutes away. You know. Do I need to learn Feather Dance, Halucha? And also, we should do a fast food tier list. Didn't didn't somebody... No, they did a restaurant. I think Save Data did a restaurant uh, Physical attack for... in which the user charges full body into the foe. Is that That's better than tackle? tackle? Oh, I'm an idiot. The foe is covered with a massive down that sharply cuts the attack stat. Oh, I don't really need a... Yeah. 
I think uh, save data did a they restaurant did a, tier yeah. list. Because I remember like Olive Garden and stuff was on it. I think they put, didn't they put like Olive Garden and Cheesecake Factory way too high? Yeah, I, see, m all of my Olive Garden love is is nostalgia. Um, just because we went there a lot. And in no way, I think Olive Garden is good Italian food in the same way Taco Bell is good uh, Mexican food. Confirm that Ian yeah. watches Save Data content. <laughs> Or follows them on Twitter. <laughs> I look. I want to be clear. I do follow them on Twitter. I do not watch Save Data content. That's not a drag or anything. The only reason I was tuning into their extra life stream was to see if I had to get a tattoo or not. <laughs> I was periodically checking in to be like, oh no. I don't even watch. Oh. I don't watch our content. Yeah. Sometimes Same. I watch Kyle. Nobody stuff, watches because sometimes he plays Nobody something watches. I want to see. Yeah, that's um, true. Just because his computer runs stuff really great. And uh, um, we also have to do a candy tier list, but I think the candy tier list is we pre-select like 40 candies and then we live taste them and rank them on stream. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, as then we go like, all right, let's rank. Are we going to do cate and we categories them. though? Like chocolate candy, uh, fruity candy, or are we going to put it all together? I... I think if we're going to do categories, then they're separate streams. And I don't want to commit to that. Yeah, that's true. So I was trying to find a list of like the most, like the best selling candy in the US and we just take like the top 30 or whatever. Oh, and then if that gets enough traction, the next one is best European candies. And we get people to yes. send those. And then... Um, the very funny podcast, Three Dumb, they did, they did all the M&M flavors. Because there's like... A dozen plus M and M, uh, Man, M, &M flavors. Right? I bought a bag of M and M peanut butter M and Ms that are just filled with peanut butter. It's so good. Those are good. I still think peanuts my favorite though. Peanuts, yeah, peanuts my favorite. Except when you get one of those peanut ones that tastes a little off, and then you gotta eat like ten more to clear the taste yeah. out. But uh, something about the peanut butter ones is just like it's like Reese's Pieces on crack. I remember there was one flavor they tried that was just god awful. It was the like coconut ones are gross. Oh, pretzel, yeah, maybe pretzel that ones it. are okay. Because chocolate and pretzel goes together pretty well. Hey, uh, Brian to Bell, find the leader of this quote-unquote gym was the easiest person. <laughs> uh, which one should I take? So, let me look it up real quick because... Wait, I wish I could save where... Scum and get both. Give me a second. Is it going to ask me to confirm, or do I just pick up one of them? Um. So one is Hitman Lee, which is the kick Pokemon. So it just says Hitman Pokemon. Lee. It's not very varied, and it's mostly fighting moves. Hitman Chan, which is what I chose. I'm not saying that makes it the right one. He learns a lot of different things, like Thunder, Ice, Fire, Sky, Uppercut. So like I use him as like a weird move slave. So which is Chan is uh, not the right one. Whoa. Well, I well, I think we just we just got to go to chance. I say pick the left one. What does it say? Oh, it tells me. Yeah, and and trust Halucha. Trust Thank Halucha. you. Hundred percent. Do I want to give a nickname? Yes, Halucha. What do you want to nickname? Hitmon Lee. Region forty-seven. Other than Bruce Lee. Agent forty seven is pretty good. Do you have something better than Agent forty seven, Halucha, or Bruce Lee? Bruce Lee's too on the nose. And Jackie Chan is too on the Bruce nose. Lee? Oh, I just realized it's Hitmon Lee and, this up last time. and Jackie Chan. Didn't it's we? Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. I, I literally came to that conclusion. I just realized that. <laughs> wow. Talking. You know what? I also I was listening to the Next Lander Game of the Year discussions, and they were going through their old ones. And they were talking about Invisible Ink, and Brad realized the pun, because it's Invisible Incorporated, but Invisible Ink. And I had yeah. never realized that either. <laughs> Wait, when was Next Landers? Um, Agent 47, how's my dead. head? What's wrong with my head? Oh, my haircut? Because you went like this. No, you went, oh. Oh, I went, I because I thought I was so stupid for not realizing that. 
Mm. Are there no numbers? Wait, where's where's it was the next lander game of the year? Was that a? It's a podcast. Oh, there. Was it a normal episode or was it? Yeah, it was last week's episode. It's like two and a half so hours. So podcast 29, 2020 funds game of the weird. Yeah, so they, they spend, I, I'm only like 25 minutes into it, but they go through all of their giant bomb lists to see if they oh. would change anything, which I felt That's super interesting. interesting. So was that their actual game of the year or are oh, they doing something? Oh, just be mean. Uh, yes, I'm bad with recognizing puns. Like I saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus uh, never realized it was dad dressed up as Santa Claus. I just thought she was a whore. Why not both? <laughs> Wait, um, can I just take this one now? Oh. <laughs> Dang it. The, um, for Next Lander, is that their game of the year? Or are they doing something I, separate? I am not sure. I have not been paying attention. It just showed up in my podcast feed, and I was like, Hey, I want an airplane. It's okay. Uh, listen, baby boy. I, I am committing to this. And quite frankly, I want I want you to commit to this as well. I'm not getting you a ring. I really like your idea of game of the year shortlist, and you have to play each of those games before we decide game of the year. I think we should do that for 2022. Okay. Yeah. So so uh, to bring Halucha and other viewers up to speed, we were talking about how we think the problem with the game awards, and also the problem with us game of the year, is that. For any, let's say, 15 games in contention that are quote-unquote eligible for Game of the Year that are possible winners, not every voter has played all 15 of those games. And so we think the best format is to basically have a panel of voters who have to play through all of the shortlist. So you come with a shortlist of these are the 10 nominees, and you have to play through all 10 of them. I, I will say, I don't think it's play through all 10 of them. I think we should come up on a game by game basis saying you have to play at least X number of hours. Yeah, the the, game. the GameSpot stuff we did was if you have if you feel you've played enough to be able to like judge it. Yeah, yeah. Because um, usually... like, for example, like Inscription is like, I would say you have to play at least six or seven hours. You have to get you have to play at least you get out of leshies. Yeah. And then whereas something like Halo Infinite, I'm like, yeah, play the first five hours and you're good. You yeah. know? So I I think we should do that. So let's just keep in mind for the next year. Let's keep a short list going. If you come across a game, like when I played Inscription, I immediately thought this is game of the year. Yeah. Or it's it's at least a strong contender. We, so we'll put it on the uh, list. I mean, we could do we'll, a, a like a November cutoff and then people have time. Or we do all the discussions in January. I'm okay with January discussions. Yeah, me too. But I, I do think we we curate the shortlist throughout the year, because if a strong contender comes out in January, I want to know so that I have the entire year to touch yes, on it. Hundred percent. Maybe Instead the last local chat of every month we add to the list. Well, why don't we just uh, throughout local chat we just say, hey, oh yeah, I like true. this game so much, I'm putting it on yeah, the short I'll list. Put it on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I also, I'll talk to you offline, but I thought of a good format for uh, our this year's game of the year discussion. Even though it's not an official anything, we're just discussing all, each of our favorite games. Um, am I yeah. doing this, Jim? Yeah, go ahead. Do it. Okay, cool. Kick their ass. See bass. Uh, holy child, I like your Elvira oh, quote. Oh, God. It's very funny. Look, well, for the sake of this stream, I am going to tell you there are teleporters in here. I'm going to tell you the correct order. Okay, first, okay. tell me what's good against Psychic. I don't have my print okay. out. Halucha, what's good against Psychic? Here we go. Uh, Fatbird, Taco Bell, Remy, George, Barney, and ACDC. Does that help? <laughs> yes, I did name George after George. <laughs> Bug, Dark, Ghosts. Okay, so Remy has uh, a dark move, Bite. And he has sunglasses that make Bite more effective. But we also need to know what is weak against Psychic because that'll tell you who not to put out. Yes. Barney will be weak because of poison. Okay, so Barney will stay back. Um, if someone has a ghost... Uh, Taco Bell has a ghost move. Um, Let's check. Fighting and poison will be weak. Uh, what do you have? You have... Oh, there it is. Confuse Ray. Confuse Ray. So you can confuse him. 
Let's just start fighting, because yeah. you're going to fight the less. No, I, I was only thinking who I wanted to put out front, and I'm going to put Remy out front because of that dark move. Man. Okay, I... Okay, what? I'm going to tell you the teleporter order, because I had to look it up when I was playing through it. It's very annoying. So you are going to go to the top top right. Okay, well, go but I should fight right. everyone first. Yeah. Um, Snorlax is an incredible Pokemon who never dies because he can always heal himself. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's the other oh, thing about, about be the Elite Four. Is oh, I'm right. kind of at this point. Sorry. Continue. Kind of at this point with my team where I'm like, I feel like some of my Pokemon are weak and I should probably replace them, but to replace them requires even more grinding to get them up to speed. The new guy, so it's like... Yeah. It's tough. Oh, I gotta go check the the daycare. I have a Dratini there who I wanted to turn into Dragon... Dragonite? Dragonair? Dragonite? It's me, Dratini. Hey, baby, it is me, Dratini. Oh, Will. I what? have officially ordered and shipped to your house a package <gasps> in my name. You are not allowed to open it until you beat the Elite Four on stream. Okay. Um, also, I, I forgot. I was going to text you this, but thank you. Uh, thank, thank not you. Thank Maggie for the Christmas card. Oh, you got it. I and also the weird you. photo of me. <laughs> Where'd you get the photo? What is uh, it? I don't, it's from, I'm pretty sure it's from the first documentary we shot. Maybe. But I don't know why we have a photo of it. What, every now and then she just goes through like all my Google photos and family <laughs> Google photos and just like gets a lot of them printed and then scrapbooks a little bit. It's a lot of porn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we get a lot of phone calls from the printing company. Um, someone. Hey man, where'd you get this one? This one's really good. <laughs> um, I was yeah. joking with my brother that, you know how like people have taken over the like it's like earth porn like porn is like images of a thing that are cool yeah, like we gotta take yeah it we gotta take it back but we made the joke that eventually <laughs> you won't just search for porn you have to search for sex porn <laughs> to get yeah like nude stuff earth, <laughs> earth sex porn earth sex porn please <laughs> Luchi, you give me the advice now man i am so like... excited that you agreed to the game of the year shortlist because i'm I, I actually I really no. want to touch all of them this year, but I just can't do it in time. That's my that's one of my favorite things that Next Lander does is they pick a game each week that they at least all of them have played, so they can all speak to it. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't I'm not know. saying I'm we not do that. I'm saying that helps yeah. for the game of the year discussion. No, um, I feel. I, I'm just I'm just not sure that I'm super crazy with them. But it's not know. like I they're really forcing just... each other to do it. They're just like, hey. Yeah. If they I just always lie. preferred. I think the Bombcast Beast Cat format was so good, which is just like, tell us what you've been playing. Let's talk on the news. It's just like we're chatting about gaming this week versus like, let's go in depth on this game. I do like when they occasionally bring in an interview. They're like, hey, we've been talking about this. Let's just bring in an interview on this. You know, that's cool. But. Oh, yeah. yeah. Getting daddy wet. Yeah, so be excited. Be excited for that gift. It took me a while to pick it out, but I, I think I got a good one. I'm very excited. Take that, psychic Cameron, and your weird floating balls. Okay, you need to go top right. This one. Yeah. Okay, now fight the trainer. Boo -doo 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 this music never gets old. Ugh, oh, Mr. Mime. I feel like Mr. No, I can't say that on stream. Mr. Mime is weird, though. Have you seen uh, the Detective Pikachu movie? Yeah, that scene was genuinely pretty good. I, that movie was surprisingly good. It's better than I thought it would be. Have you watched The Matrix yet? No, I have not. 
I watched The Matrix uh, Resurrection. I don't know if it's Resurrection or Resurrections, but I I don't want to say I'm conflicted about the movie, but that movie, I'm not going to spoil it. That movie is very ballsy in the first half of that movie. And then the second half of that movie, it kind of just reverts to like a generic action movie. But then on top of all of that is that they shot it digitally at like, it, it doesn't feel like 24 frames per second. It feels like 30 frames per second and everything's brightly lit and none of the cinematography is that good. So it's just like a <laughs> matrix that doesn't look as good, has crazy ideas at the start and then goes to like a generic action movie and the action's not that good either. So it was kind of like, like the first 30 minutes I was literally going like, I think I'm loving this, and then it just, and then it just, yeah, lost what made it special. That that reminds me of like, uh, which uh, I don't see it a hundred percent. Oh, where am uh, I going? Uh, go to top left. Um, it's like the uh, people's complaints with sunshine turning into like a slasher in the last thirty yeah. minutes. Like I get that it's not as egregious in that movie, but um, I should heal my Pokemon. Yeah, it, it's it's just it's like. Like, again, this is not a spoiler. I, I feel like this has been out there enough, but in the movie, Neo wins. He wins Game of the Year from the Game Awards. I saw that. Like the Game Awards. Like it's so it's so crazy the the direction they decided to take this movie that I was 100% bought into it, and it's really really good at the start. And then there's the point where they're like, oh yeah, we should probably do some like action movie stuff here, and then it just. It's not. It's not their normal good action movie stuff. It's. It's just. So. Yeah, I would. I would say it's definitely worth watching. But the people acting like it's the best one since the original, or whatever, they're smoking some strong stuff because they're. They're. They, the movie doesn't look that good. Yeah. Oh, I should update you. I started watching one of those Japanese animation TV shows. Which Japanimation are you watching? Um, so the Northman trailer came down, came out, uh, the new David Eggers movie. Yeah. And people were like, oh, this is just the plot of this anime called Vinland Saga. And I was like, oh, oh. really? And so I looked that up because I like Vikings and Norse things in Iceland. And uh, I'm four episodes in and it just kind of became like the anime hit. Like, like. Mm -hmm. tragedy happens to character character is crazy sort of thing but yeah. it has been an incredible show so far um, yeah anime is good man well it depends on the anime some of the enemies are overrated it's just like super good. violent but not like over the top and well acted yeah and uh well drawn and everything and just like like Le leif erickson's in it and it's like real cool yeah that's why, like, like this is this is kind of anime related. Is the Animatrix? Two of the short movies are kind of an anime style, and they are one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Even you know, not just in the Matrix, but period. They're just incredible pieces of animation. Um, I thought you were gonna say Berserk, which I've I, heard I, a lot of great things. I do want to see because people talk about that being a huge influence for Dark Souls. Um, yeah, so I do want to watch Berserk. But I think I would want to read the manga. Yeah, I'm it. feeling that. This apparently has a manga I, as well, and I've heard that is good. I, I did end up reading the manga for Akira, and it's really, really good. Like, like no disrespect to the movie, but the, the manga just has so much more in it. Like, it takes place over a longer time period. There's so many more details in it, and the movie's fantastic. But just the manga is really really good uh, so uh, I enjoyed that I think that's the only manga I've read though sleeper time I'm gonna snow on You're your good, face buddy. proud of you thank you oh he's soundproof dang I can't do anything else but snore don't talk to me, baby. I'm soundproof. But he's gonna wake up. Well, I'm glad you had a good vacation travel. I kind of just stayed around here doing family stuff and such. Yeah. I did finally watch with Maggie. Finally watched it after pretty much my father talking about it loudly for literally my entire life. We finally watched 
It's a Wonderful Life. Have you seen that oh, movie? Oh, I have I also never seen it, other than the fact that him walking into trash cans was an accident and yelling, I'm fine, I'm okay. It's, it's like very well acted, but it's just a little weird because, first of all, the way the love story unfolds is not great. Also, the main character is like, he's supposed to be conflicted, but also like a good guy at heart. And I'm not sure he's really a good guy at heart, <laughs> you know, because some of the scenes you're just like, all right, you're just kind of being an asshole for no reason. Um, and then there's this whole angle with an angel that kind of shows up at the end. And it's not out of nowhere, but it, by the time you get to the point where it matters, it's kind of like, you didn't really need that. You didn't need an angel coming down to help him. You could have just had him resolve. Yeah. Um, you're now going to go to the lower left, please. I'm a, I'm a big Jimmy Stewart fan. Um, yeah, he's great. Harvey, great movie. I and, need to uh, watch that. I think, that he's in, right I think he's in Arsenic and Old Lace. Also great Yes, movie. and he's also in uh, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Yes, which I've never seen that. That's a movie I need to watch. It's been a long time, but I remember liking it. Uh, we watched White Christmas, or I was building a Lego Technic while watching White Christmas, and I forgot everything about that movie. I was really... I just thought it was Bing Crosby... Sorry, Uncle Bing Crosby... Uh, going to a inn and singing, but it's like war, and there's a general, and they like go to the mm -hmm. inn and they sing a lot, and they sing on a stage that couldn't possibly fit inside of a <laughs> inn. Or <laughs> oh my it's god, it's just weird. Oh, why did I do that? I just had a terrible idea, which is we should do some pixel Christmas, which is like in the middle of August, and we go rent a cabin somewhere. <laughs> And bang, right? That's what you're, you're gonna like. <laughs> and the Disney Channel's like, it's Christmas in July, and it's like, wow, you guys have just run out of content, haven't you? Yeah, it's, people were talking about. I can't remember if Zach said this, but um, like people whose birthday are, are close to Christmas, they just flip it six months and just put their birthday yeah. in in uh, July. And I'm like, that's oh, so they don't feel like they're getting less presents, but yeah. so they don't feel like they're taking. Time from Jesus. From Jesus, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to be quiet for a bit because I'm going to eat this Chex Mix next to me. Okay. You mean Chucks? Chucks Mix? Ch Ch <laughs> every, every time I see Chex or Karen sees it, she goes, Chucks. <laughs> it's the That's cereal that fucks. Name. <laughs> I, go to, I love the Chucks Mix from 7 Eleven. <laughs> Yeah, mom bought some chucks. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't been honest with you. This is a rum and coke, and I've had about oh, half of it in the last great. 15 minutes, so <laughs> I'm going to need some checks mix. <laughs> oh. Slow bro, I'm going to headbutt you again. Oh, did my Amazon package come? Karen! Karen! I'm losing this fight because I am not paying attention. Now that Ian can't hear me, um, I just want to <laughs> just talk about how small his face is <laughs> compared to his penis. Uh, sorry, I need to revive <laughs> my sweet boy. Let me give him back to life. Um, you are going to heal yourself. Headbutt. Oh, that, that works out. Oh, I did get a lot of use out of the EverDrive, because uh, Alexander bought an N64, so we were playing a bunch of different games on that. The one thing I, I still couldn't get working, and I don't know if I downloaded the wrong patch or whatever, but there is a game called... Uh, there's a patch as of 2016 for GoldenEye, called GoldenEye X that adds all of the GoldenEye content to Perfect Dark Engine, uh, which is like the next step of what Rare was doing. So it's like crazy 
all this stuff that's like the same maps but there's like reload animations and like all this stuff still on the n64 um so we were doing some of that but we were also playing like we played a ton of vigilante 8 as kids uh and we never knew there was a sequel so we were playing a bunch of the second one uh which was a rip roaring time i'm gonna bite you what that was super f oh because he's level 38 i just realized And his special defense is going up. No, don't disable. Oh. Can you undisable? I don't know how Luchin has that. Oh, you just hurt me. Hurt me like a Polaroid picture. Not Barney. Let's see if we can get a... Quick attack off. Meow. Oh, come on. You son of a bitch. Ugh. You turd. Fine. Get seismically tossed. Yay, George. Body slam. Lucha, please be watching the stream. Lulls the foe into a sleep next turn. I didn't realize rest was. Okay, so I don't want to get rid of snore or rest or headbutt. Body slam is 85 100. That's 70 100. Um, should I replace headbutt? Probably, right? Ian doesn't know. He's too busy eating his chucks. <laughs> chucks. The party mix for men. <laughs> hey, man, I chucks my wife last night. <laughs> oh, chucks to right in the mouth. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get rid of head, headbutt. Oh, I'm really nervous because Blue's just going to come back in and say, Why'd you do that? You're so stupid. Well, sucks for you. And now I can take Body Slam off of Lapras. Um, so Lapras can no surf. But I guess Nitto already knows surf, so it doesn't really matter. I gotta revive. Do I have any regular potion? Hi, can you hear me? Hi! Sorry, I accidentally unplugged my microphone. Oh, who should I give Quick Claw to? Quick Claw! Put it in your maw! Quick Claw! Who do I always want Choose to go maw. first? Oh, I'll give it. No, never mind. You said Quick Claw? Yeah, it makes the Pokemon go first. You don't have to give every move that you learn. No, it's not a move. It's a held item. I'll hold it for you. Hey. Go to right. Barney for now. Let's see what's going on in the vast wide world of video games. Hello, it is me, Video Games. I do like that this game, when you try to use an item on something that doesn't need it, tells you it doesn't need it. Okay, where am I going? Um, you are now going to go to lower left. Again? Yeah. Oh, I'm here. Wait, did I skip a person? Yeah, you skipped some of the trainers, but so what? That's true. I can always come back to level up. I didn't know this game had voiceovers. Yeah, it's crazy. This is the um, this is the Korean English version. Is that called Kringlish? 
<laughs> no, Kringlish is the <laughs> fake, is the evil Santa Claus. That's oh no, Kringlish is movie. here. <laughs> what was it? Wasn't that? Well, I'm gonna look up this. I'm gonna look up the entire plot of the Spanglish movie. Spanglish movie. I don't think I've full ever seen that plot movie. summary. Oh no, wait. This is. How did this get? This got three stars from Roger 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 what? Ebert. You are not allowed to use items. I am better than you. I am allowed to use items. Okay, you ready? Here we go. This is the entire, this is the detailed plot synopsis. What is, I don't even know what you're talking, is that the one with Adam Sandler? Yeah, this is not a full plot. Well, spoil it. No, let's go ahead and spoil it. I've always wondered what it was about. <laughs> I've just always wondered. Wait, what does he want to move? Oh, flame wheel? Yeah, I'll delete a move to make room for flame wheel. Okay, here we go. I'm going to read this full thing. For Christina Morano's Princeton University application essay, she tells the story of a year from her childhood and how it shaped the person she is today. Mexico, 1992. Flor Moreno, a poor Mexican single mother, moved to America, seeking a better life for her and her daughter, Christina. With two jobs, she still cannot pay the bills, so her cousin helps her get work as a housekeeper for the Klaskis, John and Deborah, their children Bernice, and Georgie, and Deborah's mother, Evelyn Wright. John is a chef and an easygoing... Okay, I'm going to skip ahead. What is happening um, right now? Why are you reading this? Okay, so Floor... She moves in with this American family to be a housekeeper. Um, Deborah becomes attached. Floor... To calm my mind. Okay, I'm sorry. I... Oh, I thought... Oh, there's a lot of family drama in this movie. I don't know what this movie is. Yeah! Uh, no, stop using Hyper work. Potions! That's illegal in Pokemon Battles! Are you done yet? Almost. Don't die, don't die. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Is this his last Pokemon? Yeah, I think you gotta switch to somebody trash, heal out George, and then switch. But George can heal himself. Not with two HP, he can't, because all it takes is the other person going first. But I don't. Potion's cheaper than a revive. That's true. Oh no, but a potion goes out first. You're right, a potion goes out first. So, so do the potion now. Oh, he did go first. You idiot. I didn't know! <laughs> I also have like $200,000. Um, let's go out for a second. Well, Remy has the bite, right? Yeah, but I gotta heal Remy, too. Yeah, but that, that's why, I, again, this is not an optimal strategy, is I would throw the tank in, have the tank take the hits while you heal Remy, and then switch to Remy once he's full health. Which I don't yeah. know if you're doing that or not, because, again, I'm not paying well, attention. Well, George was my tank. That's what yeah. I was trying to get his thing off first. Trying to get him off. Got yeah, it. I was trying to get George off. That's not bad. That's only 43 damage for a critical hit. Ow. Fight. Good. Whoa. Oh. It's a, no wait, it's a bug. Why don't you put oh. in your Pidgeot? You're right. But, okay, but. Again, I don't know if this is a proper strategy, but 
every time you switch in the middle of a battle, that takes your move. Yeah, I know. Whereas, whereas if you're in a situation where you can fight your current Pokemon and do damage until they're until they're knocked out, then you get a free switch. So it's kind of this gamble of, you know, maybe if if it's if I'm deep enough in the fight, maybe I keep fighting until this guy's gone. Oh, fire strong against bug. That's a good point. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Why are you quick attacking? I thought I might get it. I should have flown. Or wing attack. Because wing attack is a one move. Or I mean a one round. It's okay. This is the first time I've paid attention to the stream, so I just felt obligated to harass Yeah, I, I love that. It's my favorite thing that you do. I just can't handle the backseat, so I, I tried. I, it's actually one of the reasons why I don't pay attention, because I know you don't like to don't like me backseat. Little garbage change button. What did he put in Alka Zoom Zoom? Uh, yeah. You want to see what he's. I can't he's psychic, it. so he is weak too. You know what confuses me is that. So Bulbapedia has this weak two thing, right? Yeah, and it's stupid. But, no, but it's split by generation, but I don't know if this is, counts as Gen 1 or Gen 3. What move, Halucha? 43! Body slam. Nice. Do I heal or do I body slam again? Do you have a revive? I do have multiple revives. Yeah, so again. maybe the cycle is... Also, George has slam. body slam I just got, so I could revive him and put him in as well. Dang. My special defense. I mean, if you've got George, then I think just body slam, body slam, and then switch to George, body slam, body slam. Yeah, go. Is this his last Pokemon? Yeah. Body slam him. Fail. You suck. Yuri Geller. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Oh, because Taco Bell also has the XP share. I think it's even more. Nice. Nice. Suck it, Sabrina. That is the Marsh Badge. $4,300. Level 70. What TM? What is it? What is it? I wish this, this trainer card had... Uh, levels on it, so you can put what level there. That'd be cool. Oh, I have to walk out the way I came in? Yeah. It's top right. Yeah. It's bottom right. Yeah, thank you. Um, so next up, baby boy. It's time to go to Fuchsia City Gym. Or wait, did you just fight the Fuchsia? No, you didn't. No, I did the other one. Thank you, Halucha. I'm not a Pokemaster. That's five badges, baby. That sounds like Pokemaster to me. Thank you. Oh, I haven't explored this town at all, also. Yeah, let's explore it. Let's get the badge. Oh, move the leader. Um, no. Yeah, and then, and then actually, there's just like a, a huge number of routes that you can do. Probably between now and, I guess, Saturday is the next Pokey Will stream. We're getting there. We're making progress. And honestly, I think you're in good shape because you're playing so much between the streams that you're leveling. 
yeah. decently. Uh, am I gonna? Are my Pokemon leveled enough for the next gym, or should I? Should we do that the next stream? No, I think you're fine because the next guy is his uh, the final the gym leader. His Pokemon are 37 to 43. Okay. Uh, what is the next gym? Um, give me a second. They are psychic and poison. Oh, I gave him the gold teeth. And so poison Pokemon and ground Pokemon. So honestly, Graveler would be great. HMO but four. I, I would just, I would just keep going with your current party. Let's see how it goes. Um, uh, what's HMO four? Strength. I got strength. Yeah, that lets you move boulders. Nice. That's importante. Masira importante, Buenos dias, senor. Secret. Oh, who, should I teach it to Nido King? Man, something about that name just sounds really inappropriate. I mean, should should I get rid of? No, I don't want to get rid of Dig. Dig, or should I get rid of Thrash? Lucha for what are you st strength. Strength, because he's my slave. What's the uh, what's what's the rash? Get rid of thrash. Yeah, rid yeah. Of thrash. I I liked it for like I used it in a lot of battles, but I just didn't think it was because I get confused after two rounds, which is really annoying. Man, you want to hear about this crazy project I did with my dad last week? Yes, it's. It's so bonkers that I, that it, it can't really work. So, so my mom has a big quilting machine, and they put it together after they moved. But the problem is it had feet. Oh, Haluch is talking about the move deleter is there. Do I not need cut I think, anymore? I think you want cut, because there's still some areas you're going to want to cut. Unless you put cut on a different Pokemon. Um... But anyways, the quilting table has feet on it, and the feet screw in with a 5 8 inch thread. And they wanted to put casters on it. Turns out there's no casters. They couldn't find any casters with a 5 8 inch thread. All the casters are 3 8 inch thread. Um, they couldn't. They also could not find an adapter uh, that has 5 8 to 3 8 So what we ended up doing was we took 5 8 inch bolts and it took forever, but we used the drill press to drill a 3 8 inch hole through the bolt and then main, and then hand tap the 3 8 inch thread into the bolt. So we basically have these bolts that are now 5 8 to 3 8 inch adapters and they worked. <laughs> it was crazy. That's it took awesome. forever. It took like it took like three hours and I broke one tap because I gave it just a little bit too much force and it broke. But but we did it. It was just one of those crazy ideas that we actually did it. It was awesome. That's awesome. Halucha's got a good point, which is Nidoking King is strong. So, and Cut is not a super strong move. So if you throw Cut to somebody else, then you could put a strong move on a strong Pokemon. Gotcha. I, I'm not saying Halucha's wrong. I'm just saying I don't think it's an issue yet. So I would go until it feels like you need to make a change. Um, I'm not going to tell you the solution to this one because it's kind of annoying, but okay. there are invisible walls in this gym. Okay, then. Uh, more psychic Pokemon, or is he not psychic? <sighs> I'm going to bite you anyways. It is super effective. Uh, gonna bite you again? Psychic. Something about all the, I think all the trainers are psychic. Don't meditate me. Oh, man, you know what? I think my cousin sent me a message. Sorry, not my cousin, my nephew. <laughs> Your cousin, nephew? And he said, hey, I have an Xbox One. Do you think uh -oh. I should trade it in for an Xbox One S? I mean, sorry, an Xbox Series S. Oh, totally. And I said, yeah, that makes sense. Because the Series S is its almost as powerful as the Series X, 
happen, and at 1440p, it's basically the same in terms of like frame rate and, and graphical display. Um, and I was like, yeah, sure, I think that's a great idea. I could see the next gen stuff. And then I looked it up. I can trade in an Xbox One X for $300 right now in store credit at GameStop. So I could theoretically go and take my Xbox One X and turn it into an Xbox Series S for, what, like 20 bucks in taxes? It's not a bad idea. I should do that. Yeah, because I have my I have my One X on my 1080p bedroom TV, but it's I, it's actually a little slow because I played Halo Infinite on it, and it was a noticeable difference yeah. in load times compared to the Series X. I forgot I sold my One X to Karen, so I should tell her to do that because that's a that's a yeah. good idea. You should 100% do it. I think I think it was like it was like 250 cash, but 300 dollars trade in in store credit. So yeah, I and and the Series S is easy to find now. It's not that hard. So yeah, I, if I had a 4K TV in the bedroom, I would do that immediately. But because it's still 1080, it's not worth the effort right now. But yeah, I just, the other thing I'll say is my other nephew, he got a Quest 2 for Ooh. Christmas. Um, I haven't tried it yet, just because it's not like I was, I have the Rift S, so it's not like I was like, I really got to try it. I know the resolution's better, so I do want to try it at some point. But I think we are severely underestimating the impact that the Quest 2 is having on the public at large. Because, I don't know if you saw the screenshots, but the Oculus app was the number one downloaded app on the, the Apple Store, the Apple App Store. Wow. Over the holidays. There are... I like the number of sales of the Quest 2 for Christmas and Black Friday, etc., is insane. Like that is it's quickly becoming kind of like the Nintendo Wii, where there are people who know nothing about games, but who see it and go, That's so cool, I want that. Um like we had the Christmas dinner the day after Christmas, the family Christmas dinner at my house. And my nephew brought over the Quest 2, and like his dad was checking it out. He was playing it. My parents were playing it. My sister was playing it. We were, it was actually pretty cool because you can, because it doesn't hook up to anything. It's standalone. So mm -hmm. he's playing it on the thing, but it's tied to a Facebook account, but also an Oculus account. And it's my sister's account because she's his mom, but she pulled it up on her phone. So you can see what he's seen. And then she cast it to the TV. Oh. So we're all looking at the TV with like pretty great like 1080p there's just like very minor compression but like real time real sound and everything we can see exactly what he's seeing so he's doing something behind us and we're like yeah get that hot dog you know and he's playing job simulator and stuff and it's just like like we've been talking about how the quest 2 is like you need to get vr accessible it needs to be cheap and it needs to be standalone and the quest 2 has done that and it's really really taking off so um I've been tempted to buy a Quest 2 to get rid of my Rift S and get a Quest 2. I still think I'm going to wait for whatever the Quest 3 is. Um, but yeah, so the, the Quest 2, just to bring you up to speed, the Quest 2 standalone, but it also supports playing off the PC, where you plug a USB-C into the headset and into the PC, and then at that point the PC is running the game. So you can play PC-only games, like Steam games, on the Quest 2. You can also do that wirelessly built in and oh. people say it's great so you just good. pair you just you just pair the headset with the pc and then you can play any any pc vr game on the headset it also supports finger tracking so for several games you don't even need the controller the cameras just detect your hand and the fingers so again i don't like that it's tied so heavily to your facebook account i don't like that you basically have to go to the oculus store for the built-in games but uh it's crazy. Uh, so Holucha, they kind of work for people with, with glasses. You can kind of wear your glasses inside the headset as long as they're not big glasses. But the, the recommendation is that you go to one of the, like, I think Oculus offers them, but there's also other companies where they provide prescription lenses that you oh, can then put into I, I the headset. I didn't know about that. Yeah, you just provide them your prescription. They custom build the lenses. It's probably like a hundred bucks, I would say. But then you put those lenses, you replace the lenses in the headset with your prescription lenses. Um, yeah, so 
I, I think it's just, it's kind of like League of Legends or Fortnite. It's one of those things that is blowing up on the periphery of mainstream gaming. Um, but I think it, I think it could come back around. I, I'm excited for, for VR games. You know, I have the Rift S. It's honestly not that good of a headset because it is an absolute pain using it with the PC. And I'm glad to see the Quest 2 take it off. Yeah, I um, that was one of my big things. I, I tried to get contacts to do more VR stuff, but I just couldn't get used to them. So I never actually yeah. got them. Um, so that's good to know you can do that prescription thing. Yeah, it's it's just it was weird because I knew the Quest Two was good, but and I knew VR has the potential to surprise people. But having it kind of be like the Wii, where it's like, oh, you got, like, the kid got this cool thing instead of the kid taking it in the other room and playing with it. And it's like, I'm glad he's happy. It's like, no, kid, bring that out here. We're all going to play with this for three hours, the whole family together and pass it around, you know, kind of like the Wii was. So, yeah, I'm kind of like my my two nephews were fun because they're playing with all sorts of stuff, but they're still that age where it's like they want to do what they want to do and they're going to make you do it with them. Versus, yeah. like, I'm excited for them to be a little bit older where it's like, hey, let's play some video games or let's play a board game or something like that, you know? Yeah. 100%. Let's Daddy play Roblox. Oh, my nephew keeps asking me. <laughs> but apparently he bought, he spent his money on Farming Simulator 2022, which <gasps> just came out. He's Ooh. really been enjoying that. I downloaded Lawnmower Simulator. I haven't tried it yet. It was pretty I, just, good. I mean, I don't think it's bad. I just think that I've mowed enough lawns in my life that you've got to have something on top of that for me to just... It's kind of like like power washing simulator. I have not messed around with the power washer enough in my life that I I would... I find the idea of a power washing simulator enticing. Is it just the white but blocks I'm, or the walls? I... Yeah, it is. Okay. That's easy. <laughs> Damn, I didn't figure that out. That's crazy. <laughs> I wonder, okay, look, I'm not trying to steal credit from you, but I wonder if you could really only tell when you're playing at this high resolution. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? I'll pop it in my Game Boy. Go get your 3 very faint difference. Man, Karen's been playing a it's ton a of uh, Platinum. Pokemon Platinum. He's been really enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, Halucha, that's the thing is I think Lawnmower Simulator is very realistic, which is nothing against that, but I would love for it to be a little bit more like Goat Simulator. This is different music. You seen the new Spider-Man's movie? No, I need to go see it. I, I, look, I don't like Marvel movies. I'm constantly disappointed by them, but I feel... It's a bit of masochism where I feel like I keep watching them when they come out. So I'm trying to just be like, it may be good, but I'm not going to spend money on it. I'm going to wait for it, me to watch it at my own leisure, you know, instead of hyping it up and going to pay for it and then getting disappointed. Yeah, I wonder when they'll dump it on Disney Plus. If it'll be, it'll probably be sooner probably, than no, normal. I would say later. I don't know. They were pretty quick with uh, Shang-Chi and no, Black no, Widow. No, Oh, I watched Shang Chi on but the Black, flight. Black Widow was Black Widow was a disappointment, but Shang Chi was still a bit, wasn't it? Yeah, but it still came faster than a DVD would or a Blu-ray. Yeah, let's talk about Shang Chi. Did you enjoy it? I really liked it. I think it's I think it's like it's just behind Endgame for me. Like, yeah, it was so good. Like the storytelling was so good, the fight scenes were so good. It just towards the end when it got a bit into more like the mass scale Marvel action scenes that's when I think it dropped a bit and some of the jokes didn't land as well but man just like a very good touching movie oh yeah exactly what Halucha said it was good until the CGI only final bass battle it was I was I was blown away by how good that story was yeah it was really so it was really well done because it was like a pretty easy story to understand it had a little bit of complications to it and that, that, there's that one point where you're like, start to believe the father. You're like, oh yeah. And you're like, yeah, yeah let's do this. And then it's like, oh. And, and even towards the end, you're like, I feel bad for him, you know? Cause he's being manipulated by this. And it's just like, 
That bus scene too. Oh my god. That bus god, scene's that great. Bus that bus scene's great because really you were also surprised about his skills. Yes. Because I wasn't expecting yes. it. I thought he I thought something happened to him to make yeah. him do that. Shang Chi was just like really good story and really good action scenes, with some exceptions. And I feel like a lot of Marvel movies are either really good action scenes but stupid story or really good story stupid action scenes and shang chi felt like just like really good at both and i i just really love that story too like they were really fleshing out every single character in that family and their backstory and oh. everything and it was just like love it i was oh. good i was i was very surprised by that yeah i i, I really enjoyed it um I also I'm gonna look up. I watched about half of the Lego Batman movie, and that was way funnier than I thought it had any right to be. I, 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 I really liked it because the entire premise of like the Joker and Batman being like in a love relationship, but it's a hate relationship, and it's just like you won't say the words, you know, like I hate you, and it's just like I need you to say it. It's like <laughs> this like opposite of a love story was just such a brilliant idea. Yeah, I need to. I need to watch. I need to finish it. Maybe I'll do that tonight. I I thought it was really funny. Uh, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and look up, cause my my thing is I think Spider-Man: Far From Home was so big that it's gonna be a longer delay till it hits Disney Plus. Cause it it was theaters only. It wasn't even it wasn't even like a twenty five dollar Disney Plus purchase. Oh, you mean No Way Home? Yeah, No Way Home. Dang. I'm trying to find if somebody. What's good against models. poison again? Um, I thought it was two seconds. But we're gonna have you rest. Oh, bug? Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Oh come on! It's a uh, bug in Gen One. I don't know if Gen Two Psychic and onwards ground. applies to this dark ghost. Wait, I did a ground move and it didn't work. Dig is a ground move. Oh, Halucha, I think you may be wrong chart I'm looking at says bug is 2x and then generation 2 onwards is bug dark ghost yeah oh well that one missed you said dark so maybe I'll switch to ram yeah because remember bite does good yeah Against, bite does you good. said psychic right oh you said poison 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 Polish is right I don't, I don't know if you said poison and I misheard or if you said psychic. But. Oh, maybe I did say psychic. No, it's definitely not dark yeah. because... It's it's ground bug psychic. So, is this ground move just missing? Mm, well, it shouldn't miss him. Or does it not do any damage? Dug a hole. Sludge misses. I think it's just missing. Maybe I am. It would tell you if it doesn't affect. Yeah, because with coughing, it's like the levitate does not work. Or because he has levitate. Oh, okay, you're right. I was just misreading it. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a while. Uh, I th I'm gonna say like six months till far from home. Or something. Yeah, it's... I can see it. I don't. I, I think it's I, too big. Yeah, I I don't mind going to the movies to, to watch it. I don't want to pay money for it because I I think it's gonna disappoint me. I have a. I keep I keep buying into the Marvel hype and then I'm 99% of the time disappointed by it. Oh, well, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> You didn't throw your like your graveler may have been under leveled, but I think I used my graveler in this fight. Yeah, I probably I grab him. I think he's thirty four, my graveler. Uh, but <laughs> I can poison is weak. Poison is weak against poison ground rock and ghost. I don't. I I don't think you have any poison. Well, you have your. Eradicate whatever Barney is that you. Yeah, he doesn't have about. any poison moves anymore. He himself is poisoned. 
Oh no, but I, I just mean he's he's a good tank against poison. Yeah, I think just just grind this out. That's what I do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Have to... Am I out of? No, I... I'm just gonna get George healed up. The sludge barely affect Barney. Hey, I I just want to do a quick PSA. Maggie and I have discovered that IKEA's French fries in their cafe are actually really, really good. Oh, really? A lot of their food is not good. But their meatballs are great. Lingonberry sauce is great. French fries are great. Their mac and cheese is great. Pretty much everything else is bad, except for some of their cakes are good. We had like an almond chocolate toffee cake that is very, very good. So it's weird. Ikea Cafe, some of their stuff is awful. Oh, they've got cinnamon rolls incredible. apparently? Cinnamon rolls. I've heard that. I haven't had theirs. But we've, we've like, their mashed potatoes are not good. The green beans are not good. Chicken tenders are not good. By not good, I mean like borderline awful. So it's it's kind of a. But their french fries, incredible. All about the meatballs. Tell me about the meat, the meat, the meat, the meat, the meat, the Tell me about the meat, 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 the the meat, the meat, the meat, the meat, Dang, I'm just gonna miss all day. Ugh. What else can I do? I can Wait, so what's your problem? Barney I thought you were just—I thought you were just gonna keep doing Barney. I was. I wasn't sure if Body Slam would do anything, but he's—I I gotta give him an elixir or something because he's just missing. You know. I think if you have enough health, I would have just kept Barney in and just kept doing you. Oh, but there's a, there's a yawn. Yeah, the reason I use George is because he's immune to poison. Which is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 But isn't Rad Radikong Nid Nidkong? Nido Nid King. Nid King. Nido King. Isn't he's immune to poison because he is poison, right? Yeah. Uh no, uh, Nido King is not immune. Only George is immune. It just is barely effective. Because he's poison? Yes. I kind of like this series because I barely know anything about Pokemon. You barely know anything about Pokemon. You also hate Pokemon. It's true. And so we're just kind of two idiots bumbling through. Uh, you missed. And 90% of my knowledge is because I played this game ahead of you by a week. So. <laughs> Where is... Ether? I... I mean... I mean, I have to. It's the only move that does damage. Oh, you're out of... I thought you were going to try and give him a stat boost. No, no, no. Uh, Raichu has Seismic Toss. Thunder Wave. Big Thunder Thunder. And... Seismic Toss Ground, now that I think about it. I think so. I'll double check. No, I gotta check. It's fighting. Oh. Yeah. I say just grind this out. If you've got the heals to keep them healthy, then. There you go. Hi, Karen. Hey, I was trying to call for you. Oh, there's my phone. I was looking everywhere for it. Um, do you mind checking it? I think my Amazon package might be here. I don't mind checking. Do you see this story about the Doom mod? Doom mod or Dune mod? Doom to 
mod. Which, what's the mod? It's, I love you're given too. a camera and you run around the level and there's a whole bunch of NFTs running around the level and you take pictures of the NFTs to get money and that's your score. Isn't that funny? Yeah, <laughs> like, sorry, I'm just, just reeling from the fact that they just healed Muck to full health. Just keep fighting. <laughs> I, I know, but I was, I was two hits away. <laughs> it's just funny because every time you get really disheartened, I'm like, oh no, he's doing badly. And then you show your Pokemon and like none of them are knocked out and like most of them are at full health. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not mad. It's just like, no, I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm not losing. Alucha says Raichu paralyze. And that way. Hi. My Does name is Raichu. Any Thunder Wave. Oh, just guaranteed. Thunder Wave and Thunderbolt, I think. Stupid Pokemon. Yes, Wave is guaranteed to. No, just hit him! this fight listen here master chief i will try no i'm asking you to do it i'm the pilot i want to go home let's talk about it what were you thinking about for the format of uh subpixel game of the year oh uh, no it was nothing crazy i was just gonna have us each start with like runners up or like shout outs all that sort of stuff and then each person, whatever order, does their third, then second, and then first. Because I, I didn't want people to do one, two, three, at the, and then the next person do one, two, three. Because then, by the time you're at the end, the person listening only remembers the last person's one, two, and three, you know? Just want to make it like yeah, a, just, a bigger if, discussion, I, you know? I mean, I have my They're, number one, but I don't know if everybody has their ranked. Well, that I, I'm, I'm going to put together a message. Makes it that makes it a bit more competitive than I, I was I kind of like the I kind of like each person goes because I think the thing is we don't tell anybody else what it is so it goes all right you know my first one is this and we go oh you closed Far Cry 6 what Will's game of the year is Far Cry 6 you know what I mean like it's a bit of a shock in the moment yeah that's what I'm talking about we're not telling each other oh I thought you said you were going to do but I like, but what I mean is I don't think there's necessarily a ranking. Yeah, I, I was just trying to get people to, because I, I just don't want another discussion of just games and just people bringing up games. I, I'd rather get through it quickly, you know. Wait, I'm not following, because I think the full hour episode is this, right? Yeah. And what do you mean get through it quickly? No, I just mean I want to keep it on, on track, you know. Yeah, but that's why I was thinking, like, first 15 minutes is this person going one, two, three, honorable mention. Next 15 minutes is this person going one, two, three, honorable mention. Yeah, I, I just don't want to do that because I feel like by the time you're at the end, it's it's just about who's next, you know, not each person talking about something when they get a chance to. Yeah, I'm just afraid that if we do, like, what's your three, what's your three, what's your three, what's your third, what's your third, what's your third, it makes it almost sound, like, more contentious than it really is. Yeah, but I think I'm okay with that. It's not really, like, an official ranking. It's yeah. kind of just, like, I mean, we don't, we but could we just, just do all be... runners up and then everyone's number one pick. Like, it doesn't have to be. Well, three, I, two, honestly, I would, I would end with runners up. No, because I want to discuss I, the sorry, year at sorry. the beginning. Sorry, not runners up. Honorable mentions. Like, like for example, Final Fantasy XIV is in my honorable mentions. Because I wouldn't consider that eligible for Game of the Year 2021. Right. But it's in my honorable mention. I just yeah. want to do all the shout outs and stuff at the beginning because it kind of gets it warmed up, you know? Then people can remember things and be like, oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I think, I think that could work just so long as it's clear that, like, hey, you should rank. You should pick three and rank them. And Wait, then I keep trying some... to use surf and I don't. Oh, I'm just missing. 
Um, I, I think that would work. We just have to be clear that, that you should rank him. Because I wasn't planning on ranking him. But I can. I just have to know that going in. Nice. Is this their first Pokemon? No, I think it's their... It's their second or third. I'm excited for next year, though. Because next year is... I want to sit down and have an actual Game of the Year discussion based off the shortlist. I think that... For some reason this year, I'm paying a lot more attention to every outlet's Game of the Year list. I think because I really want to see Inscription get its due. And it's making me super focused on what is each outlet's process, you know? Yeah. I think it really depends, because, like, like, the way you go about it is very, like, matter-of-fact. A equals objective, B. Yeah. Objective, versus... It, it, that really depends on the outlet. Um, yeah, and then you just have idiots that pick Force or Rise of 5. That's their game of the year. I think it's a good game. It is, but it's not great. And it's also the third game that's done the same thing, so... <laughs> But it could still be the bonkers. best game in a year. Yes, but compared to everything else that came out this year. Oh, there's no PP! No, I can at least make you sleep. Mm. Imagine someone yawning into your mouth and then it makes you sleepy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Jesus, that's the type of nightmare I like. <laughs> Fuck that muck. Can you put that on a shirt? Fuck that muck. <laughs> Baby, I got a cricket now. With I can K. put whatever I want on a shirt. I was going to make a subpixel hat, but honestly, I'm not... I, I don't know that I want to put the subpixel logo. Okay, imagine a trucker hat that looks like my he who shall not be named hat, right? White front, what goes on the hat? That's subpixel themed. I was thinking about just the, the good three bars. Does full heal do health? No, I think it's just status, but I'll look it up. It cures them of all effects, but not. I don't think it does any HP. Sheep. Excuse me. Don't sludge me. At least you didn't get poisoned. Psychic, but his move is only. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm stupid. I was thinking Psychic was Confuse Ray. That's why I wasn't using it. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's it for them. Bye. Bye bye. Started. Psychic is strong against me. You're hurting a little bit, buddy. Thank you, Fat Bird. Nice. Finally, I wasn't sure you were gonna pull it out. To Huzzah! Be with you. Um. I think this may be the end of today's stream, but I before we do that, be. let me update you with the soul badge. And you got to tell me where I'm allowed to go next. Yes, I shall consult the guide. I got to write it down. Um, first, let me insert this. Okay, you are allowed to go to 
you're allowed to go back to the safari zone. Uh, routes 12, 13, 14, 15, which I think you already did. Sylph Co., which you already did. 16, Route 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So Route 16 through 20. Sorry, one more time. Safari Zone. Safari Zone. Yep. Routes 16 through 20. 16 through 20. Yeah, we already talked about 12 through 15 in Sylph Co. Sounds like you yep. already did those. Yeah, that's all done. Or no, you did Pokemon Tower. Did you do Sylph Co? I did Sylph Co and Pokemon Tower. Okay. Um, and Power Plant. Did we talk about Power Plant? No. So I should you, wait well, for actually, that. Actually, you know what? Yeah, power plant. Let's let maybe you want to try and catch the power plant is Zapdos. So maybe you want to try and catch that. So power plant, I should try to catch a Zapdos. No, I I think I think based on Halucha's comments and my own feelings, I think we leave power plant for the stream. So next stream we'll start with power plant, then we'll do uh, Seafoam Islands and Cinnabar. Sweet. But great, you got two badges today. I'm king. I got, well, yeah, I guess two, but I, I beat three gyms, technically. Oh, I'll go back in. You count the dojo. It's not a gym. It's a dojo. Um, but let's take a look at the calendar. We are promised to do Saturday, I believe, the first. Saturday. However, that being said, I don't know about you, but I'm off this week, so. <gasps> I'm maybe. off this week, too. Maybe we do a Friday stream or something. I don't know. We may stream again sometime this week. Who knows? New Year's Eve Pokemon. Damn, till midnight. Maybe. Probably during the day. I have I have New Year's Eve night plans, but I'm off this week, so. Who knows? Okay, I gotta How order feeling, Chinese buddy? food. I am excited. I like Pokemon. I'm glad I actually got to play some more Pokemon. Um, Halucha, thank thank you as always for hanging out with us. Folks, uh, you can find our content subpixelfilms.com, which is straight to our YouTube channel. Definitely check out the other episodes of the show. It's been super fun. Uh, I'm glad to be back. I'm also very tired, uh, and I'm glad we did this in the afternoon and not at night. Uh, okay, bye. Bye.